Have you ever wondered how the US dollar became the dominant currency in the world? The almighty dollar, right? But money can sometimes disappear. Well, for decades, the US promised Americans that nothing could dethrone the dollar. However, it seems like dollar hegemony has finally ended, and the cause is China. China has been making efforts to strengthen its own currency, the yuan, and weaken the dollar's dominance. Recently, China sold a large amount of US treasuries, which has caused another shock to the dollar. As a result, it's nearly impossible for the US to regain the same place it held once. This situation will definitely have an impact on the US economy. But what exactly is that impact? In this video, we will discuss how China's selling of US treasuries will bring another decline to the dollar. We will also talk about how China has been improving its status in the United Nations. By watching this video, you'll learn if the US will be able to regain dollar hegemony. The war between the dollar and yuan is weakening the US dollar more and more, which is now becoming visible. The US financial system is facing a crisis as China works to make the UN stronger every day. Recently, Chinese investors sold a significant amount of US bonds and stocks, which is the highest figure in four years. This move has sparked speculation that the Chinese government might be preparing to bolster its financial resources to protect the yuan and weaken the dollar. Recent reports have indicated that investors from China have significantly reduced their holdings in agency debt. This development has come at a time when the value of the yuan is experiencing a notable rise against the US dollar. Furthermore, the US dollar has reached its lowest point since November, amplifying concerns about the health of the US economy. In response to this decline, the Beijing government has instructed state-owned banks to increase their involvement in the currency market. The sale of US securities by Chinese investors has raised questions about the motives behind this move. The magnitude of these transactions has sparked speculation that China might be strategically selling off these assets to accumulate financial reserves that could be used to defend the yuan's value and reduce the strength of the US dollar. This strategy seems to be working as the relationship between the yuan and the US dollar has been a topic of interest. Both currencies have a significant impact on global trade and financial stability. A stronger yuan can make Chinese exports more competitive in the international market, while a weaker US dollar can have implications for global economic stability. These recent sales of US securities by Chinese investors highlight the interconnectedness of the global economy and the importance of monitoring currency movements. As China continues to manage its economic and financial policies, the US dollar is becoming weaker and weaker, and it seems that the US is unable to do anything. Now, the question is, what impact will this have on the US? Does China selling the US treasuries even have an impact, or is the US strong enough to face this? Before we continue further, let us know if you are enjoying the video. If you find this video informative, please like and share it and subscribe to our channel for more videos about China's development, power, and influence on the world. Let's continue now. The impact of China selling U.S. treasuries is a bit tricky to understand and depends on many factors. However, we can break it down into simpler terms. Let's break it down. When China sells these treasuries, it can lead to a few things happening. One of the first things that can happen is that interest rates may increase. Interest rates are the extra money you pay when you borrow money. An increase in interest rates will make it more expensive to borrow money, which can have a ripple effect on the economy. When China sells a considerable amount of U.S. treasuries, it can potentially lead to a decrease in demand for them. As a result, the prices of these treasuries may drop, while their yields can go up. A higher yield means that the government must pay more interest to attract lenders. This can lead to an increase in interest rates on loans and mortgages. A rise in interest rates can make borrowing money expensive for businesses and individuals alike as the government may need to offer higher interest to attract lenders. The value of the US dollar is crucial for the American economy and has a significant impact on the cost of goods and the ability of businesses to trade with other countries. China holds a substantial amount of US treasuries, which are essentially IOUs issued by the US government. When China sells US treasuries, it means they are getting rid of their US debt, 
which can impact the U.S. dollar's value. Selling a large number of these treasuries can decrease the demand for the U.S. dollar, potentially making one U.S. dollar worth less than it used to be. Therefore, keeping an eye on such developments in the world of finance is crucial to understand how they may affect the economy and the cost of loans and mortgages. The value of the U.S. dollar plays a significant role in international trade and the global economy. A weaker dollar can increase the cost of purchasing goods from other countries, as it takes more dollars to buy the same products. This may result in higher prices for consumers who enjoy buying imported goods. Furthermore, when the U.S. dollar loses value, it can lead to inflation. Companies that import goods or have foreign operations may also feel the impact of a weaker dollar, as it can increase their costs. In turn, they may pass those costs on to consumers by raising prices. China, as one of the largest holders of U.S. treasuries, has recently been selling its holdings to strengthen its own currency, the yuan. A stronger yuan means that Chinese goods become more expensive for foreign buyers. When the value of the yuan rises, it takes more of a foreign currency, such as the U.S. dollar, to buy the same Chinese products. This shift in currency value has made yuan more credible compared to the U.S. dollar. The United States had previously claimed that China would never be able to replace the U.S. dollar with the yuan as the dominant currency. However, recent trends suggest that the yuan is gaining momentum and becoming a more attractive option to foreign buyers. With the value of the yuan increasing while the value of the dollar declines, it is possible that the U.S. may lose its position as the dominant currency in the world. The United States has enjoyed the status of having the world's dominant currency for many years. The dollar has been the primary choice for international trade and investment. Countries all over the world held large reserves of dollars, and many transactions were conducted in this currency. The United States has been enjoying a significant advantage in the global economic system with the dominance of the U.S. dollar. However, China has been making efforts to elevate the importance of its currency the yuan, in international trade and finance. Over time, the value of the yuan has been steadily increasing, making it a more significant player in international finance. This has raised doubts about the certainty of the dollar's dominance in the future. As we pause to appreciate your insightful comments and opinions, let's ponder on a few questions. Can the U.S. regain the currency dominance it has lost? And what if it fails to do so? The world has undergone several changes, and a scenario where the yuan becomes the new dominant currency is not impossible. If that happens, how beneficial would it be for the world? It is natural to wonder if China would allow the U.S. to surpass the yuan now that it is becoming increasingly important. We would love to hear your thoughts on these questions. And if you are interested in more videos like this, please do let us know in the comment section. If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence over the world. Until the next video, stay tuned.